Hey guys, Mick with Bussaroo here. So I know it's been a while since I've posted an update on the Bugaroo project. I've been caught up working on paid van again and bus projects and haven't had the bandwidth to work on those and my personal stuff. Not trying to make excuses, but I am using this as an opportunity to suggest I have some big transitions in the works. I've spent the last couple months collecting new projects and finishing up the Buggeroo project. Buggeroo has been sitting at my buddy's fabrication shop. We've been trying to come up with a bolt-on engine cradle but ultimately decided VW had it right by using through bolts supporting the engine through the transmission and being supported by the transmission mounts and frame horns. I then spent a few weeks sanding, doing more body work, sanding, priming, sanding, painting, and finally more sanding only to have my SD card lock up and lose all of the exciting footage of me sanding. This is about as good as I'm gonna get it. Still got a decent amount of orange peel, but you know, I've already put in so much time on it. So she shines, but got some orange peel. Some things I've learned is that I never wanna paint another car again. And don't just have one giant SD card, have lots of little ones laying around. On the Buggeroo side, I learned that these Type 1s are really well designed and simple, and that a turbo Subaru in such a lightweight car is ridiculous. It's terrifyingly quick. I originally started the project to help share the driving load on Army, my 73 Sportsmobile Bay Window Camper. And the bug's been a lot of fun, but I realized that I'm not a crazy speed freak. I love acceleration, and the bug has tons of it, but it also has a huge lack of cargo space. It's tough to transport cross members, parts shipments, not to mention the kiddos. It's a tiny car. The time has come to say farewell to the buggery. I've enjoyed working on it and learning how they're put together, but I've owned it for almost four years now. It's time to let someone else have a crack at it. I need to make some room for new projects, so if you're interested, check out the video description and I'll note if it's still around. Thanks to everyone who's been patiently waiting for the final video in the Buggery series, and I'll catch up with y'all on the next project review. I think you'll dig it. Be warned though, it's very subscribe and hit the like button it means a lot cheers